I try not to build diatribes off of an I saw a stupid meme basis, but sometimes the meme is too stupid not to. So the meme in question here has three panels. It's pulled from the movie Finding Neverland, where the little kid is talking to the spouse abuser on a park bench. In panel one, the kid says, they said I needed empirical evidence for God. And in the second panel, the wife beater says, do you have empirical evidence that you need empirical evidence for every claim? And then in the third panel, having thus resolved their conundrum, they embrace. Now consider for a second how fucked your internal defense of your own worldview has to be before you arrive at, yeah, but who vouched for truth though? And look, like I said, normally I don't bother to devote whole segments to dumb memes, especially when it's a dumb Christian meme that I only saw shared in atheist spaces, as this one was. Because you know, very often those memes are just rage bait nonsense made and shared by atheists just to give us a good straw man to swing against. I, I don't think that was the case in this instance, but one way or the other, it wouldn't matter. Because I've heard this exact argument from plenty of Christians before. I have heard it in these words before. But we've all encountered the basic structure of it, right? I can't empirically demonstrate my claim, so I'm going to go after empiricism itself. So let's examine the problems with this meme. First of all, it has a wife beater in it. We should stop giving them their own memes. But setting that aside, there are two major problems. The first is that, yes, there is empirical evidence that you need empirical evidence for every claim. Now, that, that's certainly disputable, right? But only because it's rendered as an absolute every claim is in there. But, but there is ample empirical evidence that, A, empirical evidence proves theories, and B, theories that can't be proven with empirical evidence should be discarded. Now, to be clear here, we're talking about empirical evidence, not proof, right? Like, like according to Newtonian physics, an object in motion will remain in motion until it's acted upon by an outside force, and we will never have empirical proof of that. Because, you know, to do that, we would have to watch an object in motion for all of eternity without it ever being acted upon. But we have just as much empirical evidence as you could ever fucking want in the eternity of observations having yet to render a counterpoint. And that distinction matters when you think about the meme, right? Because we also don't have empirical proof that theories that lack empirical evidence are wrong, right? Because we'll, we'll never have that. We can't have that. We'll never be able to examine every possible unevidenced theory, but we have evidence by the mountain full. History and experience are both replete with unevidenced theories turning out to be a load of shit. Of course, the God believers would argue that even a single true thing without an empirical basis would be enough to save the meme. And, and if we grant them that ridiculous standard, we will inevitably fall short, right? There, there are a few axiomatic beliefs that we have to start with that don't lend themselves to empirical observation. I, I can't, after all, prove that I'm not a brain in a jar being fooled into believing that I'm observing all this shit that I'm observing. And Christian apologists, therefore, would very much like to treat this claim the way we would treat a Newtonian law. One single example of an object in motion deciding on its own to just go, ah, fuck it, and take a break, that'd be enough to entirely disprove Newton's first law. But that's not the direction the absolute even goes in this case. We're not looking for empirical proof that you need empirical evidence. We're looking for evidence. And when we look at the long history of people making grandiose sweeping claims about the nature of the universe that don't have any empirical evidence, they always turn out to be wrong. And when those claims have other common characteristics, i.e. they tell people what they want to hear, they fill in large gaps in currently obtainable knowledge, they grant power to the people telling them, they're all the more likely to turn out to be false later. That provides plenty of empirical evidence to reject claims made without empirical evidence. But the stupidity of the meme goes even deeper, and it's the even deeper stupidity that earned it its own diatribe. The second problem at the heart of this meme, and so much of Christian apologetics, is a rejection of the very concept of truth. If we accept the conclusion of this meme, that is that if we accept that it's okay to make truth claims without empirical evidence and treat them as true, we have no way left of determining true from false. Christian apologetics would rob us of the very concept of a knowable truth if it rescued their unknowable lie. And by the way, that's why all this shit matters in the first place. Liberal believers are always trying to craft a less offensive version of the God claim, a, a version that conflicts with science the least and has few enough consequences not to interfere with our larger understanding of the world. All they want, after all, is plausible deniability when it comes to death. But we can't make singular exceptions to logic. Whatever road that belief takes is a path that we've left open for more malicious bullshit. And when you think about what a torrent of bullshit the dam is holding back, you can see why every tiny crack matters.